I, I don't know if you've gotten a chance to see this. I, I'd love to also mention this um, Twitter feud between two other interesting people, which is uh, Brett Weinstein and Sam Harris, yeah. or Sam Harris and others in general. And uh, it kind of breaks my heart that these two people I listen to that are very thoughtful about a bunch of issues. Let's let's put COVID aside, because people are very emotional yeah. about this topic. I mean, I think they're deeply thoughtful and intelligent, whether you agree with them or not. And I always learn something from their conversations. And they are legitimately, or have been for a long time, friends. And it's a little bit heartbreaking to me to see that they basically don't talk in private anymore. And there's occasional jabs on Twitter. And um, I hope that changes. I hope that changes in general for COVID, that yeah. COVID brought out the, the I would say, the most emotional sides of people, the worst in people. And um, I think there hasn't been enough love and empathy and compassion. And to see two people from whom I've learned a lot, whether it's Eric Weinstein, Brett Weinstein, Sam Harris, you can criticize them as much as you want, their ideas as much as you want. But if, if you're not sufficiently open-minded to admit that you have a lot to learn from their conversations, um, I think you're not being honest. And so I, I do hope they have those conversations and, and I hope we can kind of, I think there's a lot of repairing to be done post COVID yeah. um, of, of relationships, of conversations. And I think empathy and love can help a lot there. And this is also just a, I, I, I talked to, uh, Sam privately, but this is also a public call out to yeah. to put a little bit more uh, uh, love in the world. Um, yeah, and and for these difficult conversations to to happen, because um, Brett Weinstein could be very wrong about a bunch of topics here around COVID, but he could also be right. And the only way to find out is to have those conversations. Because there's a lot of people listening to both Sam Harris and Brett Weinstein. And uh, if you go into these uh, silos where uh, you just keep telling each other the uh, that you are the possessors of truth and nobody else is the possessor of truth, what starts happening is you both lose track or the capability of arriving at the truth because nobody's in the possession of the truth. So anyway, there's just a call out that we should have a little bit more conversation, I, a little bit more love. I totally agree. And uh, and both of those guys are guys who I uh, who I respect. And as you know, uh, Brett, and again, as I mentioned, they're just a handful of us um, who were the early people raising questions about about the origins That's right. of this, so he of was, this he, pandemic. Right. He, he was there also talking. Yeah. So people have heard him speak quite a bit about antiviral drugs and all that kind of stuff. But he was also uh, raising concerns about lab leak early on. Yeah, exactly. And so, but I completely agree with you that uh, we don't have to agree with everybody, but it's great to have healthy conversations. That's how how we grow. And, and absolutely, um, we live in, in a world where we're kind of, if we're not careful, pushed into these little information pockets. And certainly on social media, I have different parts of my uh, of my life. One is focusing on issues of um, uh, of COVID origins, and then I have genetics and biotechnology, and then I have, which maybe we'll talk about later, one shared world, which is about how do we build a safer future. And when I say critical things like you know, the Chinese government, um, we have to demand a full investigation into pandemic origins. This is an outrage. Then it's really popular. When I say let's build a better future for everyone in peace and love. It's like, wow, three people liked it and one was, one was my mother. And so I, I just feel like we need to build, we used to have that connectivity just built in um, because we had these town squares and, and you couldn't get away from them. Now we can get away from them. So the so engaging with people who are of a different background is really essential. I mean, I'm, I'm on Fox News sometimes, you know, three, four times, a week, and I wouldn't in, in my normal life. I'm not watching that much of um, uh, Fox News or even television more more generally. But I just feel like if I just speak to people who are v 
very similar to me. I mean, it'll be comfortable, um, but what what have I contributed? And so I think we really have to have those those kinds of of conversations and and recognize that at the end of the day, most people want to be happy. They want to live in a better world. They maybe have different paths to get there, um, but if we just break into camps that don't even connect with each other, that's a much more dangerous world. 